Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's Official Study Manual, 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll continue the topic that we have been covering for the last two days. And the topic is how to go from a given rate to a unit rate. And here we have some exercises here. As you can see there are 20 entries and we are told to find the matching pairs, find the matching pairs of rates and units rate. Before we dive into this thing, this, this, this particular problem that you're looking at with 20 entries there, it's not in your book. It is not in the book that I just showed you. It is not in the 2001 book. These problems that you're looking at on the blackboard it appeared as one problem in, in the older edition, the fifth edition of these, which was published in 2012. And as I pointed out to you before several times, on my channel you will find solutions to every single problem that appeared in this book. If you're interested in getting some more exercises, in, if you're interested in doing some more exercises rather, you can go to my channel and search for Keshwani. Just type in Keshwani, T's 5 day one and the series will begin right there you will find as I said 80 videos and uh, do as many as you can the more you do the more comfortable you will be with the exam let's take a look at these here what I want you to do right now I'm going to I'm going to give you an unobstructed view of the of the problem of the, of the blackboard after I have read it to you and then I want you to pause the video and do these yourself there are 20 entries which means there are 10 10 pairs we have to match do them yourself and then once you have done it on your own then you and I will do together and you'll always find that you'll get more out of it this way. Alright, let me first read it to you very quickly. It says, A says 42 kilometers per hour, 84 quarts per 7 gallons, 10 miles 20 per 20 minutes, 2 third teaspoon per ounce, 0.2 ounce per teaspoon, 2 milliliter per liter, 4 quarts per gallon, 120 miles per, 120 miles per 3 hours. 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 8 teaspoon per 12 ounces, 12 quarts per gallon, 1 ounce per 5 teaspoon, 84 milliliter per 12, per 42 liters rather, 17 milligram per kilogram, 8 quarts per 2 gallons, 2.5 fluid ounces per gallon, 7 kilometers per 10 minutes, 12.8 fluid ounces per 5 gallons, and finally entry number T, 187 milligram per 11 kilogram. Do them yourself. I'll give you two minutes for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. I mean, just two seconds. All right, let's begin then, shall we? Here we see. Well, this one is already. This one is already converted into unit rate, so obviously there's not much we can do here. So eventually we'll get, to, we'll get to something which will have kilometers on the top and hours at the bottom and we'll have to reduce that entry to match this unit entry. This is, this is a unit rate, it's per hour. Let's work on this one. This one says 84 cores per 7 gallons. That's not how we express unit rate. Unit rate has to be one unit, uh, one, one of whatever the unit is. One hour, one day, one milligram per milliliter, per day, per hour. Has to be per one unit. This is 7. Which means if we divide top and bottom by 7, we can get 1 gallon at the bottom. And then we can figure out which one matches here out of the 20 entries. Out of the remaining 19 entries rather. Let's divide by 7. How many 7 does 8 have? 8 has, eight has, eight has 1 7. 8 has 1 7. After we take away 7 from the 8, we have a remainder of 1. What happens to that 1? That 1 goes and joins the 4 and becomes a 14. And 14 has 2 7s. In other words, in other words, 12 times 7 is 84. There you go. Now we have 12 cores per 1 gallon. This becomes 1. 12 cores per 1 gallon. Can you find somewhere where it says 12 cores per 1 gallon? Oh, I found it. Right here. 12 cores right here. L. Voila. L. There you go. 12 cores per 1 gallon. So the matching pair would be A matches L. There you go. Oh, sorry. Not that. B matches L, right there. B and L are the same, so we took care of one pair. We took care of one pair. 
Now what I'm going to do right now is something that you don't, you don't have a luxury of doing obviously on your paper. I'm going to erase this thing from the blackboard, this pair that we already found, because otherwise it's too crowded. It's too crowded, too noisy. We already found the pair. We know B matches L, so you can put L next to B, or you can put, or you can do the same thing here. B and L go together. That's the pair we were looking for, and we already found it. Let's go to the next one. So we're gonna we're gonna raise the pair as we find them, so that it's not as crowded. There it goes, gone. Let's work on the next one. Next one, as you can see, it says. 10 miles per 20 minutes. Nobody in their right mind goes around expressing their speed like that. If, if you ask somebody, so how fast did you drive? Well, you're not going to probably tell them, I went 2 kilometers per 20 minutes. That's not how we express our, our speed. It's either per minute or even more, even more conventionally, it's per hour. So the question is, how can you convert this 20 minutes into an hour? Well, we know an hour has 60 minutes. So why don't we multiply one we multiply the top and bottom by three and see what happens. Let's multiply top and bottom by three. So we haven't changed anything because three over three is one. We haven't changed anything. Multiplying something by one doesn't change its value. So now we have three times ten on the top miles. Three times ten is thirty. Thirty miles. And here we have three times twenty minutes, which is sixty minutes. Oh there you go. Thirty miles per hour. Voila. That's a speed of 30 miles per hour. Do you find a matching entry? Do you find a matching entry? Hint, hint. Do you find it? It's right there. I. C matches I. And you can put a C next to this one. They're the same. They're the same entry. And that's the idea. The idea is to find the matching pairs of rates and units rate. This was a rate. This is a unit rate because it's per one hour. We are done with these two. C matches I. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Goal eventually, of course, is to erase everything from the blackboard. Let's do the next one. The next one says two third, two third teaspoon per ounce. That's already a unit rate. That's already a unit rate. Eventually, we'll come across which will have teaspoon on the top and ounce at the bottom. And we're going to have to reduce that to find the unit rate, but this is a unit rate. So is this one, this is a unit rate. So is this one, this is a unit rate. That's a unit rate. Oh, let's work on this one, shall we? That's a unit It's four quarts per gallon, that's a unit rate. That was a unit rate. Let's work on this one. 120 miles per three hours. Again, nobody in their right mind expresses a speed like that. How fast did you go while I drove 120 miles per three hours? That's not how we do it. We do per hour. So we need to divide top and bottom by three to make this into a one. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. 1, that is your 1 hour per hour. And 120 divided by 3, 12 has 4 threes and 0 has no threes. There you go, 40 miles per hour. Do you find a matching pair? 40, 40 miles per hour? Do you? Something that matches 40 miles per hour? Hint, hint. There you go. That's the matching pair. That's the 40 miles per hour. This is 40 miles per hour. That's done. Let's do one more. Oh, there you go. That's not, that's not a unit. That's not a unit uh, rate. That's per 12 ounce. We need to find per ounce. We need to divide top and bottom by 12. We need to divide top and bottom by 12 to make that one ounce. Let's do that. Let's do it up here. So the top is going to be 8 divided by 12, and the bottom is going to be 12 divided by 12. This one is what we're doing. And the bottom we have an ounce, and here we have a teaspoon. Let's see what happens when we when we reduce the shelly. 8 divided by 12, 8 divided by 12 is going to be 2 thirds, 2 thirds teaspoon per ounce, 2 thirds teaspoons per ounce. Does anything, does anything match that? Do you find something that matches that? Anything that matches K? K, when we work on it, when we divide top and bottom by 12, when we divide top and bottom by 12, 8 divided by 12 reduces to 2 thirds, and 12 divided by 12 is just 1 ounce which is exactly what we wanted. We wanted one at the bottom. Do you find something that matches that? This, this, this whole thing, actually, the way it's written here, is actually two-third teaspoon per ounce. Do you find something that matches it? Voila. There you go. They match. That's the matching pair. That's, these two quantities are the same, one and the same. They are equal to each other. These two quantities are exactly equal to each other, just written in a different form. One is in the unit rate, 
and the other one is not. One other one is just a rate. That one is not. Let's carry on. We are done with that one. Let's keep on going. Oh, that's not a unit rate. That's that's per five teaspoon. That's not how, that's not how we express unit rate. We have to work on that one. So let's work on M. Let's work on M on the top here. We need to divide top and bottom by five to turn bottom into a one. So on the top we'll have one over five ounce and on the bottom we'll have five over five teaspoon. One over five, one over five is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 ounce. And five over five of course is one, one teaspoon. You find something that, that looks like that. Oh, right there. Right there. Apparently M, M matches E. E and M up here. E is the same thing as M, except M, M is a rate, E is a unit rate. That's a matching pair. We're done with those. We can get rid of that. Not much progress has been made on this side. I don't know why. We're creating, creating a lot of things here. Let's work on that one. See, that's the unit rate, that's the unit rate, that's the unit rate. Let's work on N. N says, N says, 84 milliliter per 42 liters. That's not good. We need to, we need to have one liter in the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 42. 84 milliliter per 42 liters. If we divide top and bottom by 42, if you divide 42 by 42, it becomes 1. And if you divide 84 by 42, I hope you are able to see that 84, I hope that you are able to see that 84 is exactly 2 times 42. There you go. So we end up with 2 milliliter per liter. 2 milliliter per liter. Do you find something that matches that? 2 milliliter. Oh, right here. Right there. 2 milliliter per liter. So N matches F. N and F are equal. This is F and N, they are, they are pair, these two are pair, which means we can get rid of this and we can get rid of that. That's done. N is gone. Let's carry on. This is taking longer than I expected, but that's okay. That's a unit rate. That's not, there's not much we can do about it. Eventually we'll find something that will have milligram on the top and a kilogram on the bottom and we'll have to reduce it. This one is very easy actually. 8 over 2, let's divide both top and bottom by 2, this will become 1, and 8 will become 4. Let's see if we can find something that has 4 quarts per gallon. 4 quarts per gallon. Oh, right there. 4 quarts per gallon is a G. G and P, G and P match. That's the pair. 4 quarts per gallon, 4 quarts per gallon, because 8 over 2, 8 over 2 is same as 4 over 1. There you go, that one is done. And if you can do all 10 of them on your own without much trouble, that means you've mastered the concept and you're okay with the exam. You'll be fine with the exam. That's all it is. They're going to give you some, some rate. They want to make sure that you're able to understand what a unit rate is and how to go from a given rate in a row form to a unit rate. No. Let's carry on. That's the unit rate. That's the unit rate. That one is not. Let's work on R. Let's work on R. R says seven kilometers per ten per ten minutes. Per ten minutes. Again, it has the same problem. We don't express our speed in terms of per ten minutes. It's usually in terms of per, in terms of per hour. So let's convert the bottom into an hour. How many minutes in an hour? Everybody knows it. You know it. It's sixty minutes. Is 60 minutes, so let's multiply top and bottom by 6. So the 10 times 6 will give us 60 minutes. 10 times 6 will give us 60 minutes, which is 1 hour. And here 7, 6 are 42. 42 kilometers per hour. If you find something that says 42 kilometers per hour, do you find anything anywhere? Look at the entire blackboard to see if you can find anything anywhere. There you go. R is same as A. That's the matching pair. We can get rid of those two. I think we're getting close to done. 
getting close getting close to being done R is gone we don't need R anymore let's work on something else there's the milligram and, and the kilogram, kilogram T of course we know already by now and even before that you can match the units and figure out what it is but don't do that don't cheat actually do the work 187 The reason you, reason you want to do the work is because something like this is what they will give you in the exam and they will ask you which, one, which of the following is the correct unit rate, which of the following is the correct unit rate and in that case all of the four answer choices, all of the five answer choices will have the same units obviously but different numbers. So you have to be able to reduce it to see what does it reduce to. You obviously get to divide top and bottom by 11. Let's divide top and bottom by 11. 18 is very simple, it's simpler than you think. 18 has 18 has one 18 has one eleven. After we take away eleven from the eighteen, we have a remainder of seven. What happens to that seven? That seven goes and joins this seven becomes a seventy-seven. And seventy-seven has seven seven. Voila. Let's do one more time. One hundred and eighty-seven divided by eleven. Eighteen has one eleven. 18 has 111. After we take away 11 from this 18, we have a remainder of. After we take away 11 from the 18, we have a remainder of 7. What happens to the 7? That 7 goes and joins this 7. That 7 goes and joins this 7, and becomes a 77. This 7 comes down and joins it, and becomes a 77. And 77 has 7 elements. Oh. So we're looking for 17 milligram per kilogram. 17 milligram per kilogram. Do you see it anywhere? It's right there. Which means T is same as O. T is same as O. There is your T, there is your O. They match. So that pair is gone. Suspense is really building up. Suspense is building up immensely because I do not know what is going to match Q. But Q actually is already a unit rate. It's per gallon. Let's work on this guy. 12.8 over 5 fluid ounces over gallon. For the time being, for the time being, let's just concentrate on the numbers. We'll, we'll put down the unit at the end. So the, somehow we have to do reduce this to this. We can divide, we can divide top and bottom by 5, but I don't know about you, but I, I'm not I'm not in the mood to divide 12.8 by 5. Do you? Are you? No. Let's convert. If you have ability, if the nature of the problem is such that you are able to convert the denominator into a 10 or a 100 or a 1000 or some multiple of 10, always do that. Because it's much easier to divide any quantity by 10 or a 100 or a 1000, you just have to move the decimal place. So why don't we convert the bottom part into a 10? Let's convert bottom into 10 by, divide, by multiplying top and bottom by 2. 12 times 2 is 24.8 times 2 is 1.6 1.6 and 24 will be 25.6 over 2 times 5 which is 10 and 25.6 divided by 10 is simply 2.56 fluid ounces over so 10 if you divide top and bottom by 10 it's going to become 1 do you understand and this becomes 2.56 2.5 fluid ounces per what was it, per gallon there we go it matches this this guy which is what we're working on matches obviously this guy because the only one left that was the end of that that is also the end of the chapter that is also the end of the chapter tomorrow when we meet we'll begin we'll work on just give me one second we'll work on chapter number 29 We'll work on chapter number 29. That'll be tomorrow. I'll see you then. If you wish to get hold of me, send me an email at keshwaniprep at icloud.com. Alright? Bye now.